soil texture is basically the composition of the soil in relation to sand, silt and clay, with sand being the coarsest fraction and clay being the finest. Now it's important to understand your soil texture as it has some major implications on soil management. It's important because it influences water holding capacity, water infiltration, nutrient retention and erodibility of the soil. Soil texturing is an easy thing to do. There are two main ways that you can determine your soil texture. The first is very simple. It's a soil test and sent away to the lab for a, a particle size analysis. The second, also quite easy, is to do it yourself in the field. It uses your hands and some soil, a very easy thing to do. Firstly, we take our soil that we've sampled. You take it in your hands and you give it a nice little push together with your fingers just to break up the smaller pieces. Anything that's more than about two millimetres in size, rocks or coarse fractions like that, should be removed before you start texturing your soil. So we break it up so we've got a nice palm full of soil and we can begin our soil texturing process. If the soil's dry, then I would suggest adding just a little bit of moisture just to help it all come together. And then using your hands, push all the soil together Work it between your hands until it forms a nice moist ball. You don't want it too wet, but you need it to come together nicely. We may need to work it for one to two minutes, and we really want to feel in this one to two minutes what's present in our soil. So if you've got coarse sand, you can really feel the coarse sand within the soil. And while you're spending the one to two minutes, why don't you think about what you can feel? I often close my eyes to help the process, for example, if you've got sand, especially coarse sand, you can really see it and feel it in the soil. If it's a fine sand, it might be slightly more difficult, but holding it to your ear, you can often hear the fine sand in there grinding together. Now a clay is very much like plasticine. It makes a nice, it forms a nice ball that holds together um, and it's often quite sticky. And if you've got a lot of silt in your soil, um, like this one appears to have, it, quite, it stains your hands quite a lot. It feels silky to the hands, so it's important to take that time to really feel what's in your soil. So when you've worked it together for a while, the next process is to form a ribbon. So we push it between our forefinger and our thumb. And in pushing that, we're creating what we call a ribbon. And we do this a few times so that we get an average across the ball. And I'll probably get about three out of this one. We push that through. And it looks like in the surface soil, we're getting little ribbons of about one to two, maybe three centimetres maximum. Then you can use a ribboning chart to assess what type of soil type you have. So you should be able to now determine what the water holding capacity is likely to be in your soil, the best plants that are suited for your soil and any potential issues that you may have going forward in your production system.